Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the rule of inference. So in this video I'm going to prove the modus ponens law is true and the modus ponens law is also known as the law of detachment and I have that law in the green rectangle here which states that if p is true and p implies q is true then q is true. Okay so another way of writing this as its corresponding tautology would be as follows. We would have P and P implies Q implies Q. Or another way of writing this is P and P implies Q is logically equivalent to Q. And this, of course, is if P is true and if P implies Q is true. Okay, so this is just another way or two other ways of writing the modus ponens law. All right, so anyways, I'm going to prove this statement true using the truth table or using a truth table. So let's go ahead and create that truth table to the right here. So we have our two propositions. We have P and Q, and then we have P implies Q. And I'm just gonna write down its logical equivalence. So this is logically equivalent to not P or Q. So these are the three columns that we're gonna use. And then I'm gonna need four rows because I have my two propositions, P and Q. So let's see, one row here, one row here, a third row here, and this last row here. All right, so it's not pretty, but it'll do, hopefully. All right, so now let's put in our true and false values. So P can be true, Q can be true. P can be true, Q can be false. P can be false and Q can be true. And then P can be false and Q can be false. So I'm using T for true and F for false. All right, so now looking at the first row here, if P and Q are both true, then P implies Q is also true. Next, if P is true and Q is false, then P implies Q will be false. And if P is false and Q is true, then P implies Q will be true. And for the last row, if P is false and Q is false, then P implies Q is true. Okay. And now what that means is, if we look here, we can see that when P is true, and P implies Q is true, then Q is true, okay? And so this row here, that very first row, proves the modus ponens law is true, okay? So that's basically it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe other people find it helpful as well. And let me know in the comments what other type of videos you want me to do on uh, discrete mathematics or programming or um, recurrence relations, anything like that. And as always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.